you don't have to quit you do not have to leave medicine you do not have to quit pharmacy you don't have to leave your current nine to five job you can do more with your degree if you've been following me for some time i, I discuss alternative non-clinical career options and sometimes i share job openings for healthcare professionals who would want these kind of opportunities i mean a bit not to make this video too long i'll be talking about the medical science liaison which is the msl for short i'll talk about who they are what they do how much they earn and how to get into it msls which is the medical science liaison they are field-based scientific experts have scientific knowledge with the clinical acumen they basically bridge the gap between healthcare companies and healthcare professionals. These um, healthcare companies that they work with could be pharmaceutical, they could be biotech, or they could be, they work with these companies that produce medical devices. Now, what do they actually do? They discuss evidence-based scientific information with physicians and researchers. They have the information, they are great with communication, they have the scientific knowledge, the clinical knowledge, and then they work with these healthcare companies to relay the information of these products that they have with healthcare professionals. They also talk to doctors about latest research, about medicines, about new therapies, and even training healthcare data. And they also help in planning and supporting clinical trials too. Based on job boards like this, an example of what a medical science liaison earns is nothing less than an average of 50k per annum. How do you get started with this? Typically, um, to be an MSL, you're required to have maybe a PharmD, a medical license, or a PhD in this particular kind of field. You need to have a strong scientific acumen, you need to have great communication skills, and also the ability to translate complex data into really digestible content. It's a field-based position, that means you have to be open to travel. You can start by networking with professionals, or you can get on social media platform like LinkedIn, get to know people who have most likely made the transition to this type of field. You can also attend conferences, get information on internships, because internships are such great opportunities to get to know more about a particular role. If you're someone who likes science with um, the clinical background and you are great at communication, this is a perfect fit for you. Now, up next, I'm going to talk about the medical advisor. Well, bye for now. <laughs>